Hi, Serena and friends. Today I'm reading 3D ABC, A Sculptural Alphabet by Bob Razika. He has lots of art books that you might like to look at. Today he's going to teach us about sculpture forms, ABCs, from A like an arrow to Z in the form of zigzags. He not only points out different styles of sculpture such as abstract, kinetic, and relief, but he also covers a variety of materials, stone, scrap metal, even light, that sculptors can use. A is for arrow. A sculpture is not always something you can recognize. This kind of sculpture is called abstract, and it is made by Alexander Calder in 1972, and it is at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. B is for bicycle wheel. Sometimes sculpture is made of things that already exist. This is called ready-made, and this sculpture stays in Jerusalem. C is for car. The sculpture might be something you recognize like a car, but made out of something unexpected, like wood. And this sculpture is in London, England. D is for dancers. All sculptures are three-dimensional, but most can be looked at from all sides. This sculpture is in New York. E is for eagle. This sculpture can be looked at from just one side. It is called a relief. And this sculpture stays in a museum in Massachusetts. F is for family. Some sculptures are at home outdoors. This sculpture is in England. G is for giant. Some outdoor sculptures are so big you can walk right under them or they can walk right over you and this sculpture is in Germany. H is for horse. A sculpture can be pieces of scrap metal that the sculpture fi sculptor finds and forms into a familiar looking shape and this sculpture is in Seattle, Washington. I is for instrument, or a familiar sounding shape. This sculpture is by the famous artist Pablo Picasso. He called it guitar, and it is at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. J is for junk. Even pieces of something that was wrecked can be turned into a sculpture. This one is also in New York. K is for kiss. Sometimes two completely different sculptures. This sculpture is owned by somebody privately, so it's in their personal collection. L is for love. This museum that has this is in Utah. Love can say exactly the same thing. M is for machine. A sculpture can have moving parts. This is called kinetic sculpture. And this one is in Sweden. N is for nose. Or a sculpture can have one part that stands out. And this sculpture is in New York. O is for obelisk. P is for pyramid. Some sculptures look impossible. You can see this sculpture in Houston, Texas. Q is for coral. A sculpture can be made out of light. And this sculpture is in the Museum of Contemporary Art in Kansas City, Missouri. R is for riders. Or it can be something, you, it can make you see something that isn't there. This is bus riders. It's making you see the bus. This sculpture is in Washington, D.C. S is for spoon. A sculpture can make you smile. 
This sculpture is in Minneapolis, Minnesota. T is for tablecloth. Or, sculpture can make you think about dinner. This sculpture is in Chicago. U is for upside down. A sculpture can make you look at things differently. This sculpture is in London, England. V is for vacuum. Sculpture can even be things that you see every day. This is in Los Angeles. W is for wings. A sculpture can even help your imagination soar. And this one is in Tokyo, Japan. X is for X. A sculpture can mean different things to different people. Y is for yellow, or it can even mean different things to the same person on different days. And this sculpture is in New York also. Z is for zigzags, because the more you look at a sculpture, the more you see. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book about sculpture. And if you want to see more, Bob Rizika has lots more books.